This is the Reshow USB cassette capture for converting cassette tapes to MP3s. I'm going to be using it to um, digitize a bunch of old Atari software. Um, interestingly, the front of it looks relatively fine, um, but if you look at the back, it's got some kind of weird kerning issue. Someone suggested it might be an OCR problem, but I'm not sure because see, all the letters seem to actually be there and in the right order. There aren't any odd, out of place letters that I've seen, but occasionally letters just have an extra space in there. For some reason, it requires a VGA card with 32 megabytes of memory. That that seems very strange. Um, it, it doesn't mention that you need a US. Well, no, yes, it does. It does mean you need USB port. Anyway, this thing is about um, $16 on Amazon. Very cheap. This thing has clearly been cloned quite a lot. Is 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 that Comic Sans? I think that's Comic Sans. So inside, you get the cassette player itself. You get headphones, which was surprising. I thought this thing was just a USB. Get a USB, um, it's a mini cable, yeah, mini USB. You can see that in there. Yeah, mini USB. Get the program on a mini CD, and of course, a little very thin manual explaining how to use it. The printing on this manual seems to be fine, so maybe they just, their printer is having a bad day. Um, when they printed the outside of the box. So let's open this up real quick. Kind of hard to do one hand, but I didn't. Didn't get my um, dolly out. Uh, yes, it did. So it's pretty cheap. Yeah. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So it's a pretty cheap feeling plastic. On the top you got play, you got this direction, is it a button or a switch? It's kind of like a switch, but nope, it's a button. Um, you got loop, fast forward, rewind, stop. On the side you've got the mini USB, you've got audio volume up and down, you've got a headphone board, and on the other side you can attach a upside down, a 3 volt, 500 milliamp, um, it doesn't come with an adapter, so you're supposed to power it off the USB. Um, let's see, let's push the, slide the eject down there. And it opens sideways, which is odd if you're expecting this to work. Something like a, um, uh, sorry, blanked on that, Walkman. Oh, apparently you actually can, right here, there's a little thing. You slide this down, pop it open. You can actually put batteries in it, so this thing is essentially just a Walkman with USB out. Interesting. Waterverse, stereo, hi-fi, and mega bass. Or possibly mega bass. I think they meant ba um, they meant bass. Although mega bass would be amusing. Little dimples here. I'm not sure what those are for. But yeah, the idea is you just plug this in your computer, it shows up as an audio input device. You can very easily play back your audio tapes, turn them into MP3s, I'm not going to be turning them into MP3s, I'm going to be capturing data with them. There it goes. Yep, just thought I'd show it before I started trying to use it. So I've put in a touch typing cassette for the Atari 400-800. Um, and when I connected the USB, you can see it identified itself as a USB plug and play audio device. I'm just using Audacity rather than their built-in software. We're well, not built-in, it's on the CD. You see it says microphone array. Um, it is a stereo device, so I'm telling it to import in stereo, although I don't believe any cassettes were actually recorded in stereo. The data cassettes, I mean, rather. So you can see, we just hit record. Pull up our device. Hit the big old play button. It'll stay down. Put a little noise on it when, it, when I hit play and nothing happened. And after a minute or so, hey look, we're recording data. So, got the little disc, disc really, got the little tape spinning away here. And now, if we tell Audacity to stop and then play back a bit of this, we should hear a very sort of high-pitched, yep, there you go. So yeah, very simple to use, should be quite easy to archive all my tapes, unless I let them keep spinning around while I'm trying to record. Well, rather, while I'm not recording. And now a final step. I've um, 
finished copying the, at least the first side of the tape into Audacity and saved it out to WAV file. So I've started up Altera, an Atari emulator. So I can go down here to say cassette, load, tell it, it just is it a WAV file. Now, I don't need to do anything else. This is a tape control here, which just lets you select where along the tape it is. And you can see there's a very basic waveform here. It looks like there's two programs on the tape. So I just go in and use the standard basic commands. And I looked up what they are, and the answer is there's a lot of them, but we can just try the first one, which should work. See load? Ready. And you see it said 42 minutes, I mean, not minutes, 42 seconds there. It loaded 42 seconds worth of data, so we do run. And hey, now see it's loading more of the tape. And there we go. A very BB touch typing software loaded off a WAV file. ASD. SDS, DSD, SDA, DAS. I don't know where the select button is on this mapping. Hey, I got 32 words per minute. Pretty good for using one hand.